actually, I was actually super, I was about to be like super impressed how long you could hold that. That actually was that actually sounded pretty on key. That like, was on key. Yeah. Wow. Who who plays the pirate man? Honestly, I would have gone gone for longer if I didn't fucking spurt out a little laughter. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. This this weird little bob this weird little fish thingy that totally looks like a water jug. Careful, oh, you okay? it really yeah. dries out your throat when you do that. Do something about it. The hell? What? Oh God, he's off key. Just, now that I look at this fish for myself, I I don't I should expect it to talk. I should make I should expect it to be just literally talking as if it were playing a clarinet. I guess, but yeah. So it's, I I guess the. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that if I never learn how to play this confounded instrument, then may my great 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 grandson be tenfold. tenfold. Yes, tenfold. Oh, I forgot about that part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so in any case, this weird. I guess the joke is that it looks like a water jug that if you blow, you know, wind across mm -hmm. the top of it, it goes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the joke anyway. That's weird mm. jug fish thing is going to be what supplies the music, but she cannot for any reason remember that freaking notes so Oof. we have to get these instruments Don't. playing so she can under so she can you know have some accompaniment uh, and the issue is that all the instruments are, are freaking poisoned by this dang corruption that we gotta purr it. it's, it's being covered by spoiled boy or beefaroni ew it, does. It, it looks like mech it looks like mac and cheese when the melt when the, like melts too far hard it melts too hard on top and like solidifies yeah. such a pure waste of good beefaroni <laughs> Sorry, but this is really obvious, ladies and gentlemen. I've seen those videos as of recently. Well, the thing is that, like, <laughs> well, the yeah. thing is because of Jordan, when she thinks of beefaroni, she thinks of those other videos. I know. I, I try know. not to. I try to think of the grocery, yeah. the actual, you know, food beefaroni. What was the Chef Boyardee theme? For some reason, I'm saying my. I remember it had a theme, but I forgot what it, it was. It did, but. Ugh. I can I can res I can definitely hmm. remember like the tone of it. It's just that it was so long ago that I can't remember the lyrics exactly. Uh, nope, not enough yet. Hmm. I also remember. Uh, yeah, I, I remember. Uh, snap, crackle, pop, snap, crackle, pop, boy, Artie. I remember the <laughs> um the Campbell's chicken noodle soup possibilities. Oh yeah, I remember oh, that too. That and way. the uh oh spaghettios. <laughs> Remember the frickin' Kraft Macaroni dinosaur? <gasps> yeah. Yes! Uh, yeah. The remember when he was in, Remember when that- Remember when the Kraft Macaroni and Cheese dinosaur was in Super Mario World? Oh my god. Or was oh that yeah. the dream I was having? No, I, no, I, there was a Super <laughs> Mario <laughs> Mac and Cheese. I, I remember a silly thing being- Not a silly thing, it was a very touching thing actually was- Did you guys ever remember the story? It was probably around like, I don't know, like the two thousand Early 2000s. Okay. It was the early 2000s and it was- this uh it was this viral it was one of the first big viral sensations i can remember like being really invested in was the man the homeless man with the golden voice i, I, I don't, don't remember that. actually i was only like so four or something who... gosh darn it mr krabs let me have my beefaroni on the job <laughs> please I i'm sorry logan i'm sure it's a touching story but excuse me the way you were describing the homeless guy I was just thinking back. I was just thinking back to come here and feed you with pipes of gold. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait! No, okay, that is a fun little. That, that is a fun. Oh no, that short's short. great. It's actually, it's actually one of the more weird as it sounds. It's actually one of the more wholesome ones. Yeah, it is. It's a cute little thing. Mm -hmm. so, anyway, so anyway, so the idea was. So anyway, so what? So what happened was that the the, the title of the video was the Golden Voice. It was, I guess, this guy was homeless, and he used to be a radio show announcer, like, back in the 70s or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, so you see this ragged kind of... He, he wasn't, like, too ragged looking. He was pretty, like, well-kept, just, again, homeless. And, and but the idea was that he would, for $5, he would recite, like, vocal things for you, like, on the streets. Huh. And, mm. so, but anyway, so a guy did it, and he videotaped it, and he would just be there, like, you know, kind of looking a little disheveled a little bit, but then be like... Hi, and welcome to the uh, Afternoon City Park uh, Music in the Theater. And it would just go full on. And then people were like, who is this guy? And it actually went to such a degree where I know that it's got to be on YouTube somewhere. And I, I don't know if he still works for them or if he works somewhere else now. But uh, Kraft Macaroni actually hired him to do macaroni and cheese commercials, like as their spokesperson. Oh, interesting. Like, like, was this like, was, like was, this a, was this something he was doing as of recently or like way back in like the 90s? Well, he said early uh, 2000s. Well, the, ra early oh, the, early radio, 2000s. 
Well, the, ra well, the radio thing was back in the 70s. The homeless thing happened in the early 2000s. I want to say about a year to at the very most a year and a half after he went viral, Kraft had hired him. So I'd say sometime before 2009, 2010. Oh. Oh, I, didn't even, I didn't even realize they were still making commercials for Kraft macaroni and cheese today. Oh, they got to be making Oh, yeah. Well, for kids, for kids uh, programming and such, they're TV oh, that's, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. You got to sell something and to the kids. as we all know, as we all know, we are not children. <laughs> Oh, no. Go, go, do I still love mac and cheese? Like mac and cheese. Oh, I, I love like macaroni that. I like, and cheese. I, like, I, I think it's actually I think it's actually called Alice's. It's this like it has a little <gasps> bunny on the front. Oh yes! This, like, really we sell that Velveeta, stuff at like, my grocery cheese. store. Mm. Has like super rich like Vel Velveeta's also pretty yes, good. Yes, excellent. Anyway, now that without now that we've had that weird little musical nostalgia trip, <laughs> it's time for another time for another <laughs> random thing this game's gonna throw at us. Perhaps mislaid. Which is that we have to help this, we have to help this uh, thing uh, rehearse, which means we need to do a Guitar Hero. Oh, oh boy. It's a rhythm-based thing. I love ribbon-based, uh, uh, not ribbon, rhythm-based games. Ribbon -based Same. Games. <laughs> you have to do two of these things in a row, and, and you are able to skip this, but really? you get more, you know, teeth, you know, for your trouble, and I need the... I need the money. Yeah. Uh, looking at this grid, I'm all, I'm honestly convinced that this clearly wasn't made with 60 frames in mind. Yeah. Probably not. It. It's also just, I mean, I guess if I had to, re if I had to really say what this, uh, uh, one issue that this I have with this game, is with all these mini games, I almost feel like it tries too much. Mm. Maybe. Mm, yeah, it's, yeah, to a degree. Yeah. You'll see what I mean when we get like in the later chapters of the game. I, I mean, mean, considering we already had a freaking Gradius shooter. Oh yeah, no, yeah. like several times I'll say, like sometimes it feels like some of the gameplay changes they make seem a little out of place here. Well, yeah, well, yeah it's like it just kind of like it comes and okay, there we go, there is done. You're like that that thing lasts like thirty seconds, and you put all this time to make it. And, I mean. Uh, there's the, I mean, there's the matter of adding the a cute little rhythm-based thing there, which just, Ooh, yeah, just seems sure. a little out of place in the game like this, hey, Cheshire. And then I think back to a place where it's... Yeah, we have to wake up the oyster beds. Okay. Wake up them damn oysters. Anyway, um... Wake up! But then I... <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, then I think back to a game where it actually... I mean, I don't mind it too much, uh... The Sly, the Sly Cooper games, basically, they have their own sh share of rhythm-based stuff, mm -hmm. and I don't think it's too ill-fitting there. Even in, the, even, the... even in the most recent, like in their most recent game, Thieves in Time, where you're literally just oh, doing no. this da this rhythm game where <laughs> Marie is first dancing I mean... as a geisha. Well, oh, first yeah. it's okay. So here's okay. Okay, so here's speaking back here? of the random. Yeah, speaking. Of, yeah, I'm gonna speed this up. Yeah, speaking of the random minigame stuff. Uh, this is the. Remember how I said like every Redula room, like what, uh, one of the four Redula rooms will just be a mini game. Uh -huh. uh, the other two will be the other two will be battling games, and the fourth one will be a random little quiz show with Cheshire. Ah, uh, okay. So this is the second one, which is this is the or the third one. Sorry, this is the mini game, which is just a repeat of the of the you know, radius section, just survive until the end. Uh, and he isn't. Oh, is this gonna be? So, is this gonna be another? Is this gonna be another nice ship that's gonna get taken down by the end of it? And leave poor um, it just does. It just disappears. Mock turtle in a rut. I guess. I guess it just disappears. Maybe. But there you go. It's all done. Oh. Just going back to Sly real quick is like, you don't have to worry about that pie because they cater to both ends of the spectrum. Because at first you have Murray dancing like a geisha, then eventually you have Carmelita belly dancing. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like the first, at first it's weird, and the it's like you're in, supposed to be in feudal Japan. You're in feud. You're in feudal Japan, and then suddenly this huge like electronica almost song starts. This like J-pop song starts playing. And I'm just like, what is my life? Oh, and we can never forget the, gr the the greatest of all, the fucking ice skating duel between the Murray and the Grizz. Oh yeah, that was actually yeah, pretty funny. funny. Oh yes, it was. I can't wait to get to that part of this thing. I'm gonna. Tr I'm going. So I've decided I'm gonna try to record the game uh, after I upgrade after my computer to see if maybe that. Well, that too. But I mean, I also have to upgrade my computer to see if maybe it'll work better on my computer, since my PS4 sometimes has some. Again, it has some oddities. But, well, um, I, I'm sure it, it comes down. It, it, it's also the matter that Jesus. your uh, PS4 isn't like connected by by wire connection. As opposed to wireless. What's the crap music? Could be. Well, my, 
a, a cannon. Yeah. yeah, it's a cannon. Oh, okay. It's just a cannon. I th and then I, but, I, but then I can reflect the cannon back with my umbrella if you time it properly. Like, you can't just hold, again, you cannot just hold the shield. You have to, the audio cue, and... Arg, all right, Dexter Squidward, you can have your before <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, you just have to, you just have to, like, bring out, it's almost like a thing of like a parry. You have to bring out the shield just when it hits you. Wait, is that crab smoking a cigar? Yes. Yes. Yeah, we showed the Why did I just know? What is that? Mr. Krabs, for the, Mr. Krabs, for the last time, you need to kick the habit! Oh, God, these the things hell? are creepy. They are, because... Yeah. Well, and I, I, I do think it's cute how, like, the shell becomes, like, a little, like, skirt, like a can-can frilly skirt for them, but, uh, the weird thing, I guess, becomes, like, I guess oysters actually look like that is... When you look at them too closely, first off, they have no pupils. No. Uh, sec and then, and secondly, like their skin is kind of like thin to the point of you can see some of their veins. Yeah. Mm. And that's the part that you eat. Ugh. Well, the meaty part, of course. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't, don't want to see someone try to. I don't want to see someone try to eat an entire like clamshell. Yeah. No. 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 Nah. And the Well, it's a good thing you didn't discover the shit when you were a kid. Am I eating? No. Right. Nah. No, remember, do, 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 please recall the crab crap story. <laughs> As a kid, I stayed far away from sea, sea yeah. food at the time. I was like, that's nothing but trouble. Yeah, please don't. You... Fish our friends, not food. Yeah, yes. you still need to... First off, I see some of those jellyfish you can't hit to hop, hop on the tops. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. no. Oh, no, those oh, ones no. you want to stay away from. Yeah. Marlin and Dory would not make it past here because Dory would jump on the red ones instead of the blue ones. And it'd be skewered. Oh, yeah. I'll give her a little more credit than that. Ah. After seeing Finding Dory, it's just like, ah, Dory as well, a character be... just went, eh. No to be fair, she wasn't really all that different there than she was in Nemo. I don't know, it just felt a little different to me. Big. To each their own. It... Finding yeah. Dory, I will say, Finding Dory has a cute enough story. It has a cute enough payoff with her reuniting with her family and I think it was kind of interesting how it kind of built up the idea of that's literally what she's been doing the entire time since the beginning of Finding like since the beginning of Finding Dory Finding Nemo that's what led up to her running into Marlin was like that's it mm. kind of mm -hmm. I, I think the concept was okay I liked some of the unique animals we saw like the octopus the whale shark yeah. the beluga mm -hmm. um, it just the didn't have the same impacts fun. as the first one yeah well, that's yeah, the thing, because it's like they're all there, and it's okay. And like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I figured, I figured that would be like the biggest thing to come into this. Like, Finding Nemo one already happened, so like, don't expect the same kind of feels or whatnot with this next movie. Or I, I guess, I guess it was just like a kind of like you know, a lightning didn't strike twice. There, it just kind of came and went. It mm -hmm. was harmless, though. I don't think it was. Bad. I don't. I don't. I really. I get don't the feeling that after this point, like Pixar is going to give up on sequels. Yeah. Because really there's this, and then, then there was Incredibles two, which let's be fair here was a decent enough movie from what I hear, but then it came out around the same time as it did Spider Verse, and well, Ooh. we all know how that how that turned out. Well, to be end. fair, yeah. you could just say that about any oh, yeah. Double Dame animated film that wasn't Spider Verse that year. Oh, Wreck It Ralph two. Yeah. yeah. Ralph two. I could have sworn there was another animated film that was not that year. Uh, uh, what was, was it? Uh, Smallfoot. Smallfoot came out. Oh, Smallfoot. And wasn't wasn't this Pickle Me three also? No, that was no, uh, a couple no. years back. Yeah. Okay. They are making a Watch Minions too. They are. They are. Yeah. yeah. Of course they are. Huh. Interesting. But yeah, long story short, I wouldn't be surprised if after this next year or so, Disney or Pixar, whoever, are gonna give up on sequels. Mm. Yeah. We'll see. Well, Whatever happened to DreamWorks? Uh, they're still making stuff. Um, I think last thing I heard they were working on is this film called... Um, it's an acronym. It's an acronym called Boo. I don't know what the individual letters stand for, though. And I oh. I saw like these like animatics and work-in-progress shots of it. Okay. I know cool. Disney's working on a new uh, classic called Onward with Tom Holland and Chris Pratt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's with Pixar. That's, that's Pixar. Oh, that's, that's Pixar. Pixar, never mind. Mm -hmm. oh. Yep, yep. oh, that reminds me. Uh, yeah, di yeah, Disney Animation is working on Frozen 2. Oh, right yeah, now. they are. Yeah. Don't remind but me. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, that reminds uh, me. I was I was about to say, uh, who's the company that's making that uh, pigeon movie with Will Smith and Tom Holland? That is, I 
think blue sky. Yeah, it is blue sky. I think so. It looks really funny from what I've seen in the last trailer, and Tom Holland also is in it too. Well. I do, uh, yes. I'll look into that new I do trailer. The, say, the first trailer just had me look feeling weird. I was about to say, I do want to say, though, they must okay. have, like, churned out two Fine movies blocks. at the same time. Because the last time I heard they were making an animated film with Tom Holland and Will Smith, it was about spies, not pigeons. No, it was both. It's about thing. both. Yeah. It's about Spy spies pigeons. and pigeons. Yeah, he gets turned into Tom a Holland. pigeon. Yeah, yeah, Tom Holland plays a little kid who means well, but probably has a really dumb plan, which is he takes the greatest spy in the world and transforms the spy into a pigeon because, oh, wow, like, you'll be able to blend so well as a pigeon without realizing, wow, you've also just kind of removed half of his skills and abilities as a spy by becoming a pigeon. Well, hey, look at it this way. Now he can fly. Yeah. He's like, yeah. sir, will you he... please look at me? I cannot not look at you. I see my butt and your face at the same time. Which pigeons oh, yeah, can. Because pigeon, pigeon can. So, so because of, uh, so this is another thing that's gonna, whoa. That ha that was weird there for a second. Yeah. It's ah. like a frame delay or freaking subliminal message. Anywho, <laughs> so, um, eat, eat rice and rolling. Anyway, <laughs> so the, this is something that's gonna happen at least once in every chapter, I think, moving forward is there'll be these little things where we have to find a, we have to find a couple blocks and what's our reward? A slide puzzle. Ugh, I hate slide puzzles. Oh, I hate them. Well, I have a deep a slide puzzle. I have a deep vendetta for slide puzzles. Okay, we don't talk about it's it. Squidward, are you home? No. <laughs> okay. Not even Squidward's house. <laughs> it just... Actually, but, uh, I mean, take. I mean, good news and bad news is that the slide puzzle probably isn't going to be too complicated because it also is a slide puzzle that gives you a limited number of moves. Oh, but still, I get, I get, will. I still get frustrated with slide puzzles. I nearly broke my uh, Game Boy Advance while playing a Hello Kitty slide puzzle. Oh, I learned, I, I've yeah. learned a trick. Which, they, if you ever want to go to my two instruct video, I explain the whole thing. I've learned a trick that it took me a while to figure it out, but once you learn the trick, it actually makes slide puzzles a lot easier to approach. Not like trivializes them, but makes them like. Because I think one of the hardest parts of the slide puzzle is sometimes you don't know where to even start with them. Yeah. You start from this corner. So, this trick I learned it helps to figure out where to like start attacking it from. Um, yeah, that's just at all. We just gotta, again, just find these blocks around the little area and then solve a little slight puzzle and then we'll have the star of the show. Yeah. Hey. Stop all the biting and the, the nibbling. Uh, the biting and the chewing and the. Oh, we gotta get the new mind test. What the heck? They're, they're, on, they're, on, they're on the floor. Anyway, <laughs> just going back to Spongebob Go ahead, real quick, something I thought about. I thought about it years ago, but the thought kind of reemerged in my head once I saw someone post about it on Twitter. You know that episode where the nematodes ate Spongebob's house? Yeah. Right, yes. Yeah. And there was a bit where, um, like, they, oh, what am I trying to say? It starts off with, like, Patrick coming out of his rug. Is it time to ruin Squid's day? And when he leaves, he's just wearing a tuxedo for no reason. How do you think wearing a yeah. tuxedo plays into ruining Squidward's day? You, you never know, I man. Do. You never know. To, show, to, sh to mm. show Squid that even he made it high in life. Oh God. Or to be, or to have him just show up at the win at the show met, or to just show up at his front door. I do. <laughs> oh my God! Yes. No. Ah, camera. <laughs> it's like oh, God. I thought I was like I do. You do what? Well, well, no. Door slam. <laughs> <laughs> oh god so let's do the slide puzzle so. I do you do what now you need to use the restroom <laughs> yeah bye okay. there then you go there then you go there wow that's you actually a pretty short it. time limit now I see it oh not a time limit that's a move limit oh that's a move limit okay uh... so it goes down with each one okay I want to move that there yeah so just, yeah but I'm not a big fan of these either that's why I hate them <laughs> Is what it is. I mean, again, what I, I feel like they give you. Oh, just here we go. We're getting on the right track now. The dance of death. Yes. Here you are. I'm sure that'll be a fine oh, production with so. no ominous things. Don't. Now follow into the giant fish maw that just recently uh, opened, as if it was alive. Time to go to Jabba Jabba's stomach. Such nice texture. Oh, Jabba Jabba. That. Jabba. That was yeah. We're in a new area. And... Oh, what that? the? Oh, what hey, the? Mr. What's Walrus. What's that for? You're not an impresario, you're a killer. 
the mastermind of a criminal enterprise. But you help. Oh Wait. shit! He's the villain. Who knew? Yeah. A villain. I've done your bidding. You did a few errands. Got your hands dirty. Big deal. The show distraculates the crowd. Shame you'll miss it. You <gasps> Damn you, Riddler! I knew it. I mean, if you, I mean, if you've seen even the original anime one, yeah. Or he still looks like Handsome Jack with nails in his hand. Damn off me! Damn off me! Look at that! That's just the face of pure misery. It's just like, oh, this isn't as much fun as I thought it'd be. All I want, he literally, all I want, he literally replaced my tusks with test pieces. All I want was to eat some clams. Well. So with, well with that, so with that said, we have ourselves a mission, which is to get revenge and to save fish folk from most likely being devoured. Yay! Yay! Oh great! So it's it's, it's, it's literally it's literally fucking uh, Duchess if it was someone else. Hooray! Yay! Tell next time, everybody. Next part. Bye bye. Ah, uh, oysters and slide puzzles. I hate them. <laughs>